Welcome back, champs and champettes. We are working on principle number six. We are putting everything together and we are working on our timing. So let's get into it. So what we're really trying to do when we're talking about timing is generate rhythm and momentum at the same time. There's really gonna be two parts where, that we're gonna be talking about today when it comes to getting your timing and getting your rhythm right. And it's gonna have to do with sort of your weight coming back and then your weight coming forward. All right, so let's start talking about the first step of this and it's gonna have to do with your weight shift coming back. And we're gonna be having our front foot forward like we talked about in principle number two, okay? And we're gonna have our heel back, our heel down on the back foot like we talked about in principle number three, part two. And this helps us, helps us generate a lot more power on our putt because we're engaging that inner quadricep. Now, now, when it comes to timing, and we're gonna have this kind of one, two, three theme, is we're gonna have a two count really on, on our weight shift backward. So we're gonna sort of have a one, two, one, two. And again, this is, just really sort of develop some rhythm to develop a little bit of a cadence in your head that's going to get us as confident as we can possibly be on the putting green now not everybody has this uh one two on their on their weight shift backward uh pros that come to mind are casey white and maddie Oram, who really have just a one a uh, little bit of weight shift back and they pop really hard going forward um, but i think for the average disc golfer this is gonna be the best way to, to get some rhythm and to have some patience in your putt. And that's why we're making it principle number six. We think this is the best way for the average player to hit as many 20 footers as possible and to three putt as little as possible. That's the main thing we're after here in this putt confidently approach. All right, so we got our weight shift sort of figured out, sort of the timing on that, sort of a two count. Now let's go to the, the forward motion toward the basket. That's gonna be a one count. So one, two, three. And that is the sort of standard timing you see with most pros. The most important part of your weight shift forward is popping your wrist at the exact same time you hit the brace on the ball of your foot. Now that is what we talked about in principle number three, part one. And that is the tricky part. Every single good putter, whether they know they're doing it or not, is hitting is popping their putt, popping their wrist, at the same time they're hitting the brace on the ball of their foot. So that's the most important part of this video of getting your timing right in your putt is to do that. So let's just get some examples here. Let's put some, some of this into action and let's you know try and help you out that way a little bit visually. All right, so we're a little bit short here of 20 feet, right about 18 feet here. Let's talk out the timing. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Philo talks about this with apple pie. He was my first pro experience. I went and um, went to a clinic with him and Greg Barsby. That was a big thing he talked about and I would highly suggest doing so, going to one of those clinics if you get the chance. And, um, but ap apple pie it was a little tough in my head. I personally like one, two, three, and I hope it helps you guys out. So we will see you next principle. We're gonna have some aiming tips, some aiming hacks. A couple of them are based off of principles we've already talked about and implemented. So we will catch you later.